All right, so without further ado, I'm going to welcome my friends from Eventful to the stage. Let's give them that big, loud, standing ovation. <laughs> to imagine uh, Samantha. Samantha is, or the story of Samantha. Samantha is a recent college graduate. She is from out of state, so she has to plan two parties for graduation, and she has to find two venues. So she is very particular about details and design and catering. She wants to make sure people with dietary restrictions aren't going to have any issues. She wants to have a homey and cozy environment so her parents can be comfortable and they can rest, so there are no problems, everybody has a good time. So she has a list of 20 venues, uh, but because she decided to plan six months in advance instead of a year, she has lost her top choices. So she has five backups, but the five backups, they're not giving her what she wants, the feeling that she wants behind the event. Um, they're not letting her bring in her own catering. They won't let her bring her own, in her, her own cake with like the school mascot and all that stuff. So she's really frustrated and stressed out because you only graduate undergrad once or unless you go back. Um, and <laughs> this should be perfect. So this is where Eventful comes in. Eventful gives you the event spaces when you need them, the way you want them, and we offer you added services that are going to help make your event even better. And uh, as event holders, we understand that you are trusting us as a company with your, your vision for an event, your <coughs> innermost desires, like you're trusting us to show that what you're thinking in your head can be brought to action, and we take that seriously. As a homeowner living your home <coughs> for this event, we understand that you're trusting us with your investment and the things that you hold dear. And so this is why we are a relationship-based company. We connect people, we tr build trusting relationships, and we build on your network and share ours with you in return. So whether you are lending your home and, and trusting us to help you capitalize on your investment, whether you are trusting us to bring your vision to, to pass and, and find you the perfect venue, or whether we, you are trusting us to connect you with customers as an event planner or a caterer, we have it covered. And we take small fees off so we can keep doing what we do best. So, like we said, um, we are very relationship oriented and customer based. So, we get to the customers through networks. We build on people, we talk to the people you know, we build trust with you, and we care about what you, can, what you want and what you need. And so, we use our website and social media to support those activities. Now, as most businesses do, we have competitors. So the easiest way to kind of describe Eventful is just like an Airbnb or a matchmaker for residential events. There are a couple other businesses that are doing this. Our biggest competitor is EventUp. You guys might have heard of it. It's basically like a website that has listings for commercial events. However, they don't really expand as far as Iowa City. They're more in big cities like Chicago, San Francisco, LA. Um, they don't do exclusively just residential events, they are more commercial. And then they are just a website, so they don't really offer those added partnerships like we want to through design, catering, cleaning, all that good stuff. And then they're not relationship based, they are just a website. And then finally, they do have those listings, but there's no like direct booking, you have to go to another site. That makes it a little complicated. A couple of our indirect competitors, Airbnb is a big one that's super trustworthy. If they did decide to expand to having events in houses, they would be a big competitor. And then just event planners that are already associated with event venues that where you can just like call them up, they're a big one. And then lastly, the status quo, are people willing to really accept this idea? So the management team, Becca said she is the chief executive officer. I'm the chief financial officer. And then Jisoo, she is working out of Korea and she is our chief analytics officer. So for financial projections, this is basically the short and sweet version. If you guys do have questions, I'd be happy to answer those later. But for the first two years, we're all, we are looking at having a loss. This is so we can kind of 
plan some demo events, really get the word out there about ourselves, really network and market and just have like a platform so people understand what we are trying to offer. The third year we are hoping to cut down on some of those expenses, really build a customer basis so we can turn a profit. So then our goals and what we've completed right now, it does say 45 customer interviews. We are up to 60. This week we do hope to be over 100 by the end of the program. We also are planning a demo event right now. We would like to have a couple more of these planned by next year. Um, we do have a website in progress. We want that up and running, kind of test that out. And then research, we have to keep doing that obviously. And finally, we don't have any funds right now, but we are looking for some investors. So that's it. <laughs>